Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the bottom sheet component from Angular Material. The bottom sheet component is a container that appears at the bottom area of the screen when triggered. You will need two things for the component, a trigger to activate the bottom sheet and a component for the contents inside the bottom sheet. To begin, add the Material Bottom Sheet module to your project. Go to the App Module file, add the import statement, and add it to the app. Go into an HTML page and add a button to trigger the bottom sheet. Attach a click event to it so we can click on the button. Go into the TypeScript file and define the method for the click event. Import the Math Bottom Sheet class from Angular Material and then inject it in the constructor of the class. Lastly, call the method inside a click event to activate the bottom sheet. For the argument, we need to pass in the component that will be used for the bottom sheet. Since we do not have a component for the sheet, we cannot pass in anything yet. Create a new component. Open the terminal in Visual Studio Code and run the ng-generate-component command. Once the component files are generated, pass in the name of the component. If we run the app and click on the button, it will trigger the bottom sheet. If you are using Angular 8 and below, make sure to add the components that the bottom sheet is using inside the entry components array in the app module file. You need to do this for Angular versions below 9 because of how the project is compiled. For efficiency, the compiler will only compile the components that are declared in the code. For example, to successfully declare the template component, we need to take the value of the selector and add it inside of an HTML page. Since this was not necessary for the bottom sheet, the component needs to be added to the entries component array. To transfer data into the sheet, add a new JSON object argument in the open method. Add a property called data and pass in the data that you want to transfer. Then go into the TypeScript file for the component and import math bottom sheet data from Angular Material. Lastly, inject the data inside the constructor by using the inject decorator.
For the type, use the type of the data that was passed in. If we take a look at our code, we're passing in a string, so the type of our data will be a string. Now that our data is successfully transferred, it can be used within the sheet. We can call it in a TypeScript file. Or in the HTML file. For more complex data, we can pass in a JSON object instead. To transfer data out from the bottom sheet, go to the bottom sheet component TypeScript file and add mat bottom sheet ref to the imports. Then inject it inside the constructor. Override the ng on the destroy method. Call the dismiss method from the bottom sheet ref object. And then pass in the data that you want to transfer. Lastly, go back to the function that triggers the sheet. Declare a reference to the trigger and then call the after dismiss method and subscribe to it. The results argument represents the data that we pass in the dismiss method. As you can see, whenever the dialog closes, we get the data. Instead of closing the sheet by clicking on the dark area around it, we can add a button to close it. Go into the HTML page of the bottom sheet component. Add a button and attach a click event. Go into the TypeScript file and define the function. Inside the function, call the dismiss method. We can also override the default settings for the sheet. Locate the code where you call the open method. Inside the JSON object where you pass in the data, add the disable close property and set it to true. This will prevent the sheet from being closed when the user clicks outside of the sheet.
We can also remove the dark area. Add the hash backdrop property and set it to false. For the full list and details of the properties, visit the Angular Material website posted in the video description. That's all for the bottom sheet component. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. See you in the next video.